Our first speaker this morning is J.M. Bernhard Jr. He is the founder, chairman, president, and CEO of the Shaw Group Incorporated, a global company offering engineering, construction, and technology services to the energy, chemical, environmental infrastructure, and emergency response markets. Thanks for that great welcome. I heard the Manhattan Project mentioned earlier, and we'll get to that in just a minute. But, um, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about nuclear energy today. And so it's interesting that we start talking about um, nuclear power from the beginning. And today, it is very likely that the new generation of nuclear power plants, again, will be built by us and Westinghouse. The nuclear renaissance is not in the future. It's happening today. Today, we're building four plants in China. While there are financial risks to build a nuclear power plant and expensive up front, once those costs are sunk, once the electricity, the power plant is built, you pretty much have fixed prices for electricity for 60 to 70 years going forward and something you could depend on, rely on, and it's homemade red, white, and blue. We are going to have some type of environmental tax, some type of cap and trade, some type of restrictions on polluting the atmosphere. And we suggest of all the technologies available today that are commercially available, that are for base load plants, nuclear fits the bill. The industry performance rating and public approval has never been higher for nuclear power plants, even at the beginning, ever since they've been polling. 72% is the highest, the highest that nuclear plants acceptability um, by the public. Yucca Mountain does not have to be part of the solution to build new nuclear power plants. The U.S. industry has used safe interim storage since 1986. The storage has been without a single incident. I think we can move forward on that. I think we can reprocess the spent fuel stored in the canisters that we have now, have a single source such as Savannah River to reprocess the fuel, 95% can re be returned to the reactors, creating less than 5% of the waste. The second thing it does for you, 80% of, of the fuel is usable, and it makes you more and more self-dependent since most of the uranium is imported from outside the United States. But until we actually break ground on, there are always going to be disbelievers, you know. But, you know, I can tell you that our company in Westinghouse has begun on six units, in ordering material, design, etc., and we're moving forward in a very rapid rate. You know, we're going to create um, a wealth of opportunity and, and jobs in this country, and we think that in today's economy and the infrastructure buildup that the government is sure to do, one of the solutions is to build nuclear power plants. We talk about hope. We talk about change. I always tell my, my people, you know, hope's not a plan, you know, and um, I think we need a good, solid plan to um, move this country forward, to invigorate the economy for decades to come, and nuclear power will. Wind and solar certainly going to be part of it, but everyone sitting here knows that in the next 50 years we will not have baseload wind and solar plants generating electricity throughout the United States. So let's get on with it. Let's get a, like we would have a mutual fund, let's not invest in all one technology, not one clean fuel, let's have a mix of biofuels solar, wind, clean power, nuclear, and yes, let's continue on the coal so we can find a way to truly have clean coal technology. Let me end here. www.change.gov. Now I'm going to ask you, everyone wants to be part of it to take your Blackberry out now. Come on, don't be the first one. Take it out right now, and if you'll simply do that, You'll get to the new Obama administration by clicking on energy and environment. And right now, 5,000 people, 5,000 people can email that we're in, for, in favor of nuclear being part of the green energy mix going forward. And I can tell you, you receive 5,000 emails from people from all over the world within five or 10 minutes. I assure you, politicians pay attention and they will this is the only time you're allowed to take this out so go ahead so thank you very much and um, we'll be back here later for any questions thanks for your kind attention